Welcome to the video guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be actually working on the uh, 67 Mustang for a change. Um, so I'm going to be doing a little bit more body work and then hopefully I can get to the point where, uh, you know, I'm going to shoot primer on it and um, hopefully even ready for a little bit of paint. So stay tuned. <laughs> So from last time uh, that you saw the last video that I did on this little bit of body work, I done a lot more. Uh, well, not a lot, but I done some body work. Um, so I did more uh, bondo in here, uh, you know, to to blend that front nose to the body. Um, it's pretty decent. Uh, I know that I'm gonna need a little bit more on there. Uh, I did uh, finish doing most of the sanding around the, the panels here. Um, I still need to get my sanding block here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to sand a straight line. Um, just because I don't know since this is, oh, sorry, it's pointing up. Uh, since this is kind of like this, you know, once it's painted, I don't know if you'll kind of see like a different shade of it. So I'm gonna try to just sand like a straight line. That way it looks, uh, you know, more, more proportion and um, I did a lot of the work back here, um, so you know, filling this in and sanding, so this is pretty much flowing throughout, same with this, uh, and then I did, uh, you know, some of the fill in here, so you don't see just like those big gaps here, um, same on this side, same thing here, and then I filled this uh, hole in here, so uh, this body kit came with that panel that you put on the back, um, I really don't know what it calls. It's like a tail light panel, so you can change your lights to like a Shelby style lights, I think. And I didn't want to do that. Um, those lights are cool. Um, you know, you can get them to light up in se uh, sequential and all that, but um, I, I don't know. I just, I wanted to keep it uh, this kind of light here on the back. Um, so I sold that piece a while back on eBay. So someone out there probably has it, is using it. Um, anyway, so that's why this had a gap because the other piece would have kind of filled this gap in here and been almost flat uh, So I filled this in With some um, Kind of like fiberglass in there and then put a little bit of bondo and I still need to do more a little bit more work in there um, You know and I fill this this gap in so you know, it, it's gonna I Don't know once it's kind of done, but you know the tail light bezels kind of stick out a little bit here So you're not gonna see too much of that uh, but the main thing I want to do is, you know, I'll sand some of this fiberglass that I kind of got in here, but I want to sand this, um, you know, only a little bit more really from here. Um, I got like this corner here all done where I did this panel up here. Um, so this is pretty much good. And I didn't want to keep this like seam like factory, so I, I just filled it. Um, and then... I just got to sand slightly here, a um, couple spots, but uh, the main thing is to sand everything uniformly. So obviously I've been using like a 180 grit for, you know, to do a lot of this heavier body work. And so that's going to leave a lot of scratches behind. Um, what I need to do now is finish a couple spots with the really rough sandpaper. And then after that, I'm going to do probably a 320 and 400 um, do a lot of 320 400 uh, I think I have some paper for the uh, electric or the cordless sander so I'll use that and then I know I have uh, 400 I think or 320 for the air sander I'll use that as well and then I think I'm also gonna go up to the 400 by hand um, the whole car and that way when I spray the primer I know I'm gonna have a lot of well, I hope I don't have a lot, but I am going to have scratches from the sandpaper and all that. But hopefully the primer will build up. And then after I prime, I'm only going to be using 400 and up paper. That way I don't get scratches uh, showing through the paint. But um, I want to get a, a 
coat of primer that way i can see better in one color you know where things kind of look funky i can fill them uh you know with the carbine black white red it's kind of hard sometimes you sand and it's still a little bit hard to kind of know exactly where you need to work so So I moved the car uh, to this side here of the garage. Um, I didn't really show all of the sanding, but pretty much, you know, same process, just uh, sanding, um, wash the car with soap, uh, sand again, wash, sand, uh, wash, sand, wash. Anyways, uh, took the hood off, put it here, cause I'm gonna primer. Um, I'm only gonna be doing primer now, but I'm gonna primer the underneath of the trunk, um, the hood. I'm doing the door jams, so you know everything is taped in here. Um, I am gonna primer the inside of the doors here, the dash. So I'll probably start with doing the inside here, um, you know, all the jams around the hood underneath here. And then I was reading on the primer I'm using, I think the uh, dry time is uh, two hours on that one. So uh, with that said, I think I'm gonna I spray all this I mean obviously here doesn't matter but the door jams and then wait wait on the hood and then flip them and then spray the other side um, so I might try to primer all of it today uh, in one day uh, if that doesn't work then I'll primer the, all the jams and everything then come back another day and do the actual body but we'll see how far we get um, I already did the wax and tar remover on everything I'll probably go over everything one more time before paint use the tack cloth and then um, start spraying
All right, so this is the uh, end result now after primer. Um, the main reason I wanted to do primer, uh, I wanted to have it a uniform color because, especially around like the flares here, uh, you know, it was really hard to know like how much more work I needed or, you know, sanding or anything because it was all kind of different colors. So, uh, you know, at least now, like I can pretty much see with the one color, I can see all the parts. Uh, I knew I needed a little bit of work here, you know, um, here on the nose, I mean, it, it's actually not too bad. Um, I could probably add a little bit more filler here just so it has a little bit better contour. But like right here, it's it's smooth enough. Um, obviously, I'm gonna have to sand, but uh, you know, um, here I have like a little bit of like tiny little holes, I guess. So I'll have to fill that. Um, but overall, like that's not too bad on that area, so. That's the main reason, like this little hole here on the fiberglass, uh, before I never saw it until now. So, you know, things like that, like here, there's a few little, um, this fender actually looks pretty good, uh, except here, I need to fix this little line, make it, you know, more kind of even. Um, other than that, I mean, it, you know, it's not too bad. And then on the flare, I mean, it looks actually pretty good. You know, there's some holes there uh you know things like that so that was the main reason um you know like up here i'll have to fix a little bit of like this little things here but um that's that's the main reason that i wanted to do this uh just because uh, especially this one i had a lot of different kind of colors here things like that so um this one i do need a little bit more work i think i need a little bit more filler here uh, but at least now i know there's you know a little bit of like air bubbles there um, this part actually looks pretty well It does need a little bit slightly little bit of like filler, you know, there's like that little dim dimple this line here But overall, it's pretty good and then here on the inside obviously I'll have to um, Even this out but this stuff you don't see that well, but uh, you know still um, and then up here where I did like this repair uh, There's a couple little pieces like you know places like here that I'll need little bit of filler but overall it's not too bad so um, that was the main reason uh, you know I wanted to put a protectant down all the bare metal spots and then um, this is gonna show me like here on the sides I mean that looks pretty good um, you know I'm sure once I block it a little bit better it'll show me better but this this actually looks pretty well um, actually here I might see like a little line so this shows me better what I need to work on, um, you know, here. And I did want to paint all the uh, jams and all that. So, you know, I got these painted. Um, and so with this, I'll, uh, this is the big, uh, big dilemma here. Um, I know I can paint the doors. Those are good to go. Uh, the dash, uh, I mean, obviously here the jam, there's really nothing to work on. There's this little like piece here. Um, on the bottom there, um, I don't think I want to add bond or anything here on the seam. Um, I might just fill this small little holes here, but I just don't want, you know, you always hit there with your foot. And when there's bond, I mean, if you smack it, it might just chip off where, you know, being just like that, it might be okay. And I might put a little like cell plate there anyway. So um, what I might do is, you know, uh, in the next couple of days is just lightly sand the doors, the dash, and around where the uh, front and rear window go so um, you know all this area really gets covered by the trim but i wanted to primer it you know have a like a small little hole there i'll have to fill um here looks pretty well there's a little dimple down there but i might paint all this paint the dash the jams um here on the hood i mean you know it's the hood this isn't like a hundred percent show car this is going to be a daily driver so um, it looks pretty well, you know, I might have to fill like that little hole there. So I might paint the uh, the jams, all the jams still. Um, I do have more work to do on the trunk here. And <clears throat> this is the, I guess the more, most uh, spot that, I, the biggest spot that I need to work on. So maybe if, like fill this spot and this little holes here. Um, so it looks better. 
paint this, I want to paint the trunk underneath and the hood. Uh, that way when I paint the car completely, I can just paint the, the top of the car. Um, I don't have to, you know, open the hood, paint underneath, any of that. So this will be painted. I can mask it on the bottom and then just paint the top. So I might still do that just since I have everything kind of covered. Uh, but it looks pretty good. And with doing that, I can work on besides the body work, but that might take a little bit more time. Uh, you know, um, I think I don't want to paint the car till like it's running. So that way, like if I drop a wrench or something, you know, I don't have to worry about it. But with the jams painted, I can put the windows on and I can run all my wiring inside, get the engine running, you know, pretty much complete the inside. And then later I can just paint the outside. So that was my main goal. That way, you know, now that it gets colder, I might not want to paint the car, but I can work on it, get it running. And then, you know, once it's done, I can just paint the outside. Because to paint the outside, really, I mean, I think I need to get all the lights, you know, drill or cut the holes here, mount them, and do all that. And I don't want to paint and then be cutting and, you know, scratch something. So I think there's quite a bit of work to be done on the body before paint. But um, I can, you know, work on the outside, but I can also work on the inside. So. Um, that's it for this video guys it's a really short uh video probably um i just wanted to show some progress here this is what i've been working on this uh, last week and or so so uh, please subscribe to the channel uh you know like the video and leave any comments or questions below we'll see you on the next one